I was shocked when our friend Allie stumbled across the worst drinking water in Los Angeles. Lithium, uranium, arsenic? I wasn't even worried about those. What better way to test the brand new water drop countertop reverse osmosis system than to send Allie a brand new unit and another laboratory water test so we could get a good before and after performance comparison. But before I get into the actual performance testing, I wanna go over four pros of the system that we really liked, and then two drawbacks of the system that we thought could be improved a little bit. The first big benefit of using this countertop reverse osmosis system is that it requires no installation. So unlike traditional tankless or tank-based reverse osmosis units, where you have to install them under the sink and do some modifications to your plumbing, this countertop reverse osmosis system, you simply set it on your countertop, plug it in, and you're good to go. So setup takes about five minutes, and you're off and running with purified RO water. Number two is that it's one of the most efficient RO systems on the market. One of the biggest pushbacks with RO systems in general is that they can waste water. But the Water Drop Countertop RO has a three to one drain ratio, meaning that it produces three gallons of purified water for every one gallon of wasted water. Traditional RO systems have a one to four ratio, so it wastes four gallons of water for every one gallon of purified water produced, which is a big difference. Number three is that it has a large 170 ounce storage capacity, which is big enough to meet the needs of an average family. Whereas other countertop RO systems have a capacity of around 100 ounces, and that can get kind of annoying because you're more frequently having to go and fill up the water compartment. At number four, and the most important one, is the filtration performance. This filter uses a three-stage cartridge containing a cotton pre-filter, activated carbon, and a reverse osmosis membrane. That's followed by a UV purification light to sterilize bacteria and viruses. The UV light is pretty unique for RO systems, especially for a countertop unit. And this can remove thousands of contaminants, including fluoride, chlorine, PFAS, bacteria, heavy metals, bad tastes and odors, and a lot more. So those were four of the biggest benefits to using the water drop, but let's have a look at a couple of the drawbacks. The first is that you don't get an unlimited supply of water like you would with an under sink RO unit because those are directly plumbed into your cold water line. And with a countertop RO unit, you have to refill the water storage tank. So if you have a larger family or you just plan on using a significant amount of drinking or cooking water, perhaps an under sink RO is something to consider. Number two is the filter replacements. Every RO system requires filter replacements, and this one is no different. And the RO membrane and filter cartridge on this unit lasts approximately 12 months, and that can vary depending on your water quality, and it costs $69 to replace. That's a pretty good value for a filter like this because RO membranes typically cost around $100. But enough talk, now let's look at the test results to see if the water drop can conquer LA's tap water. For both the before and after tests, we use the TabScore Essential City Water Test Kit, which analyzes 47 different variables in an EPA certified laboratory. The untreated water sample received a tap score of 32, placing it in the bottom 20% of the United States. The main contributors to this were lithium, uranium, and arsenic. Lithium is not currently regulated in drinking water, so the USGS and the EPA calculated a non-regulatory health-based screening level of 0.01 ppm to provide context for healthy lithium concentrations in groundwater. Being that our sample had nearly three times that, it is definitely something we want to eliminate. Uranium and arsenic are, however, regulated by the EPA, and they have a maximum contaminant level goal of zero ppm, which is the level at which there is no known expected health risk. So these are other areas of focus we want to get rid of. After filtering the water through the water drop RO, the new water sample received a tab score of 93 out of 99. We can see that the lithium, uranium, and arsenic were completely removed from the water. Additionally, the aluminum, copper, strontium, and sulfate were also 100% removed, while chloride was decreased by 84%. Now let's look at some qualitative properties. The pH level went from 7.86 to 6.7, which a neutral pH is 7, so this is still a good readout here. Hardness declined by 98%, while total dissolved solids declined by 86%. And I will put the links to both test results in the description below if you want to have a deeper dive. So overall, the filtration 
performance delivered above and beyond, it's easy to use and set up, and it won't break the bank. If you're interested in learning more about the water drop, I will leave a link in the description below with an exclusive discount for you. Don't forget to watch Ali's full LA tap water saga video up here, along with other great reverse osmosis content. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss another video from Freshness, and we'll see you next time.